All right, back on the uh, cowboy with the neckerchief, the bronc buster, and uh, I'll continue working on the uh, neckerchief today. Just adding the other layer of the uh, neckerchief down here below. Now I got to be careful because I'm not going to have this round base on it. And I'm going to have to uh, have them make a mold of the uh, clay without the, uh, the base. And so I've got to be able to bring the level of the uh, yeah, there we go. I don't mind the bronze sitting on the base and that's how high up the base will be so I've got to be careful not to make it too far down because then it would be cutting into the base and they wouldn't be able to make a base for it
Okay, I'm going to use some Ronsonol to finish the uh, surface of this clay. Get rid of all the loose bits of clay that I've uh, stirred up with my sculpting tool. I'm really happy the way this turned out. In fact, this guy looks almost like the guy that's going to be picking it up and taking it to Las Vegas. He's uh, got a uh, ranch over in Dillon, Montana, which is about 50 miles from here. This is a prime example of the fluidity of sculpting. I started out with a, a miner, a, actually a prospector, and at some point talking with uh, um, the uh, gentleman that is going to represent me down in Las Vegas, suggested a different idea, and I was able to change the whole design of this piece to match what he was suggesting. Don't ever think that whatever you create is carved in stone. It isn't. It's You can always change your mind at some point if you think or if you can imagine a different scenario for the uh, sculpture. And uh, you can change it completely. And uh, I'm glad I did because I think this works out even better than the original idea. All right. It's good night, everybody. The uh, Bronk Buster is done. And uh, it's ready to go to Vegas. I'm going to take my power saw, my hand saw, and try to cut this off the back of the uh, base. And that way I could probably save this front part, which I can fill in with clay, but I don't know. Just going to have to see what I can do. I think I might have a screw that might keep me from doing that. All right. Good night, everybody. See you uh, when I see you. Not sure it's going to be this week. And I don't know how much next week, uh, quite honestly. I'm i got to regenerate or recharge my batteries. I've been going at this pretty hard and heavy and uh, trying to meet deadline. I need to just take a few days, maybe go out in the wilderness and just sit by a river. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.